All right, so this is going to be another random hodgepodge of videos. Um, get my other fan pointed back over there towards my lathe. I got a ton of these box fans set up all over my shop because it has no AC in it. And I'll be honest, it is right damn warm today. I believe it's about 90. Two degrees, I think. What it said. So, I've got my blank all set up on the lathe. And if y'all watch the ice cream scoop video, this is going to be kind of a another par for the course, I guess. Um, one thing I point out: make sure your bushings are always lined up right. This tall shoulder here and here, I need to get each end of the blank down to those, so it's a nice, smooth transition. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention too, if y'all are doing a bunch of turning and you have a ton of different bushings, go ahead and get a box similar to this. Maybe one a little bit nicer that doesn't do this on you, but uh, these little organizer boxes come in handy. You can label all your bushings and stuff on it. Keep track of everything, that way you don't lose it because uh, these things are really small and they're really expensive for what they are. It's kind of stupid. So I'm actually going to get my safety glasses that I forgot. That is the number one most important tool in the shop. Don't do a damn thing unless you got your safety glasses on because it ain't worth a trip to the ER. Alright. So, got them on. And what are we going to start off with today? If I can find it, I will start off with my one inch roughing gouge. This one's nothing special, it's just a Benjamin's best. So we'll start off with this, make sure it doesn't hit, flip the lathe on, and we will come up to about 2400 RPM or so and start taking passes. All right, we're back over here at the lathe bench, and I've been turning for a few hours now, and I need to resharpen my roughing gouge here and get it to focus. It's not dull by any means, but it does need to be touched up every now and then. And coming over here and touching it up on the grinder will help keep the surface finish a little bit better when you're turning. So I'm going to flip it on, let it come up to speed, and uh, I'll bring it down. Yeah, excuse me, bring a bevel down and just touch it on the grinder and rotate it back and forth. And I'm going to do this one or two times. And that's a really good really sharp edge again and it's good for another few hours so you don't have to do this very often 
but if you do you're going to maintain a better surface finish and it's going to be a little bit easier to turn with remember sharp tool is an easy tool to use and a dull tool is a dangerous tool you'll hurt yourself with a dull tool faster than you will a sharp tool All right, well, I've gotten a few of these glued up. I got these three here that are out of clamps that are good to go. I've got four more over here that are in clamps now. And I wasn't very happy at first. This epoxy is old. And I know it's five minute epoxy, but normally it stays a little bit more open time on it, unless you'd be able to use it a little bit longer. Um, I guess it's just old. It's probably two years old at this point. Um, that's what I was using at first. The four that I have gluing up now, I used the Total Boat epoxy for. And Total Boat is really good epoxy. I mean, just for about anything. And it does work for this. But I will say the only downside to it is the dry time or set time is a lot longer than this obviously I should know that um, I was able to get those four over there glued up with it but none of those are ready to come out of the clamps yet so uh, let's see that's seven right there I've got three more to do so I'm gonna go ahead and call the video here I'll get the next three wrapped up and when everything's all said and done, I'll splice in a picture of all the scoops right there at the end of the video. And that'll be it. So, I just wanted to say that uh, coming up soon, I'm pointing at it, but y'all can't see it. There is a Delta Shaper that I have from roughly around the 1940s era. And that's going to be a restoration that I have coming up. Um, I restored a lot of equipment here. I've done my Delta Rockwell 20-inch bandsaw. I've done my Powermatic 20-inch drill press. And I've also done a Delta Rockwell 1214 table saw. And 1214 means it'll take either a 12-inch or a 14-inch diameter blade. So, like I said, this is getting a little bit long in the tooth. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. And uh, stay tuned. I'll have some more videos coming up. To be some more turn and work like this for the craft show. Hopefully I'll have a restoration video out before too long. And yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.